Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to take a look at the drilling command. There's lots of different ways that you can add a drilling to Top Solid, and my hope is to introduce you to all of them in one quick, simple video. To begin with, you can start a drilling by going to your Shape tab and choosing the Drilling command, or you can just right-click right on the feature you want to add the drilling to, and it'll be in the contextual menu. If you happen to select on something that's circular, Top Solid will automatically snap to the center of that circle. How cool is that? Here I'm just going to add a quick tapped hole. Why not? We'll go here and we'll add how about a 5 8 11. I'll say it's complete tapped and a through tapping. Perfect. Next I want to add another drilling. So I'm going to select the same face. This time however, I want you to pay attention that there's these little arrows here. These arrows allow you to offset a drilling and rotate it. Cool. Maybe in this case, I'll add another tapped hole, but why not 1024? Maybe here we want this to be a blind tapping in this case, so I'll say, how about a quarter inch deep for the tapping? And for the hole, I'm going to set it to blind and have the depth automatically calculated by the system. Then I can come out here and I can type the angle I actually want to be at, the distance I want to be at, maybe I want that to be one inch. Perfect. From here, maybe I want to make a repetition of this drilling. So let's go up here to repetition, select the drilling, and we can say circular pattern. Here I want to rotate about this axis, total 360 degrees, and maybe I need eight of those drillings. Fantastic. Now, I'd also like to put this tapping right there. Check it out. I can hold control, drag and drop it right to the center. And again, let your selection land near the circular edge. Cool. Let's use drag and drop again. A couple more times. Nice. Last type of drilling I'm going to show you is the fact that you can drill on a non-planar face just as easily. Again, all you need to do is drag and drop directly onto the face, or you could right click and go as well. Here I'm going to drag and drop. I can double click to get the angle. Maybe I want that angle to be 90. And maybe I want this to be up 0.5. And then from there, I can do another repetition. Why not? So we'll repeat that drilling circular. Again, about that cylindrical face. Why not? But this time, I only want to go 180 degrees. Perfect and done. I hope you found this tutorial to be useful and now are able to add drillings to your top solid designs.